Have you ever felt like it's too late for you? Like you've missed your chance or your best days are behind you? But what if that's not true? What if God is still working in your life, ready to turn things around when you least expect it? Remember what it says in Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. God's plans for you are still in motion and they are good. I want you to think about something with me for a minute. If it really wasn't too late, what are some things you would do? Would you go back to school to earn a degree? Would you reconcile with an old friend or attempt to make up for past mistakes? Would you follow your passion in life, something you're naturally gifted at doing? Or try to fulfill your goals and dreams? Whatever it may be, God wants you to know that it's never too late to begin or to begin again and have a great life. He is on your side and if need be, he can even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. You may be here and you are thinking that it's over for you, that it's too late for you. But I want to encourage you in saying that it's not too late for you. It's not over for you even though everything and everyone around you is telling you that it is. God says otherwise. Let me say it again. It's not too late. It is not too late for God to do what he has promised. It is not too late for the answers to your prayers to manifest. It is not too late for the Lord to visit you and turn your life around. It is not too late for the Lord to give you beauty for ashes, joy instead of mourning and praise instead of despair as his word declares. To all who mourn in Israel, he will give a crown of beauty for ashes, a joyous blessing instead of mourning, festive praise instead of despair. Isaiah chapter 61 verse 3. It is not too late for God to change your story. It is not too late for him to turn your mourning into dancing, put off your sackcloth and clothe you with gladness. You have turned my mourning into joyful dancing. You have taken away my clothes of mourning and clothed me with joy that I might sing praises to you and not be silent. O oh Lord my God, I will give you thanks forever. Psalms chapter 30 verses 11 to 12. We must not entertain the lie that it's too late. I think one of the greatest lies we can believe is it's too late. That's what the enemy would love us to believe, but we must reject them at all costs because, like I said, God says otherwise. At some point in our lives, we all feel like we've missed our chance or messed up an important opportunity. We can even be tempted to believe that we've disqualified ourselves from having a great future, that our best days are behind us. And if this is you, if you feel like you've missed your chance or like your opportunity to have a great life has passed you by, I want you to know that with God, it's never too late. In the book of John, there was a crippled man. He had been that way for 38 years. There had been a time he believed he could be healed and that his life would change. But disappointment after disappointment killed that hope. It got to a point where he stopped trying because he thought it was too late. But the story doesn't end there because Jesus stepped into his story. One of the men lying there had been sick for 38 years. When Jesus saw him and knew he had been ill for a long time. He asked him, Would you like to get well? I can't, sir, the sick man said, for I have no one to put me into the pool when the water bubbles up. Someone else always gets there ahead of me. Jesus told him, 
Stand up, pick up your mat, and walk. Instantly, the man was healed. He rolled up his sleeping mat and began walking. John chapter 5, verses 5 to 9. 38 years was a long time. The man probably thought his life was over. It seemed like it was too late for anything good to happen to him. But remember, with God, it's never too late. And when Jesus stepped into his story, it changed in an instant. You see, God is a God of change. He is always doing a new thing and working behind the scenes in our lives to bring about new beginnings. Where we see failure, God sees potential for something new. The minute we stumble and come apart, God is already planning our comeback. When we mess up plan A, we don't have to worry because God has a plan B. That's how good he is. I love what it says in the book of Isaiah. Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Isaiah chapter 43 verses 18 to 19. Let's pray. Glorious God, we stand on your truth that all hope is not lost for us. It is not too late for you to intervene on our behalf. It's not too late for our story to change, so we trust you. When we have messed up, when we have procrastinated and thought it was over, it really wasn't and isn't. It's just the enemy who wants us to believe that it's too late, but there is hope for us. It's not too late to try again, to start again, to start. With you, Lord, it's never too late, just like the woman who had an issue of blood for 12 years. It seemed to be over for her. Doctor after doctor gave her the same bad news and she lost all her money. Her story seemed to be over. It seemed to be too late until you stepped into her story. By faith, she went to you, believing you could heal her, and she received her healing. And behold, a woman who had suffered from a discharge of blood for 12 years came up behind him and touched the fringe of his garment. For she said to herself, if I only touch his garment, I will be made well. Jesus turned and seeing her, he said, take heart, daughter, your faith has made you well. And instantly the woman was made well. Matthew chapter 9 verses 20 to 22. It's not too late for us. You will change our circumstances around. Where there has been no hope, you will bring in hope. Where there is death, you will bring life. We let go of the lie that it's too late, because it's not. With you, it's never too late. In the story of Abraham and Sarah, who waited for years for the promise of a son, in their old age, when it seemed humanly impossible, you fulfilled your promise and gave them Isaac. Your word says, is anything too hard for the Lord? At the appointed time, I will return to you about this time next year, and Sarah shall have a son. Genesis chapter 18, verse 14. Lord, just as you did for Abraham and Sarah, we believe that you will fulfill your promises to us, no matter how long it takes. Your promise in Joel, where you said, I will restore to you the years that the swarming locust has eaten. Joel chapter 2 verse 25 Father, we stand on this promise today, believing that no matter what we have lost or how much time has passed, you are able to restore everything. You are the God who redeems our past and gives us a future filled with hope. Lord. We declare your truth over our lives today. We reject the lies of the enemy 
that say it's too late for us. We declare that with you, all things are possible. We declare that you are able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us. We thank you, Lord, for the new beginnings that are coming our way. We thank you for the doors that you are opening and the opportunities that are unfolding. We thank you for the restoration of our dreams, our health, our relationships, and our joy. We thank you that you are not limited by time, and we trust that in your perfect timing, you will bring everything to pass. Finally, Lord, we lift up our voices in praise and thanksgiving. We praise you for your faithfulness, for your goodness, and for the way you are always working on our behalf. We thank you that with you, it's never too late. We thank you that our future is secure in your hands and that your plans for us are good to give us a hope and a future. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen.